So we're just heading through immigration now. These are still not come through. Oh my god, I'm actually a bit scared. The guy kept bumping us off, telling us that we just go, like you don't have it, which screws up our plans to be honest with you. Not sure what we're gonna do now. And just like that, guys, we're leaving Singapore. And we're Polly. I'm Polly too. Look at you, Polly. He's up, Polly. He's ready for the next adventure. How exciting! How exciting! Right, let's do this! So we're flying with Vietjet Airlines, right? And we've heard some absolute horror stories of them. Cancellations, no booking confirmations. Delayed flights and just no hair in general. We're flying to Ho Chi Minh City from Singapore Airport. Uh, tickets were the only ones available with this airline. So let's go and see what the check-in process and the flight is actually like. I'm intrigued. Absolutely intrigued. Okay, so far so good, but we still need to get on the flight. You know what? I was a bit skeppy because she's a trainee and she I think she had like a manager behind her. And I thought she was gonna be like really picky about the one kg because you know when you're new, you yeah. just like basically get everything spot on. So we are here at the airport now, we've got one hour before boarding. So I think we're just gonna walk around, smoosh around and see what we can do. So here we go, passports coming in, facing down. Let's see how easy this is. Passport has been read, please remove it. 16 years old, you got some declaration. And uh, you're not a sister of Singapore, you're not a crew member, that's yeah. fine. There you go. Okay. Okay, let's see you guys. Credit card has been read. Hopefully we should get a receipt. Approved! Woohoo! $21. $21. Nice. That was superb. $21 just like that refunded, guys. Let's go to check in. Let's go. That was the most easiest tax refund that could ever be in the history of electronic systems. Singapore, you are ballers. So guys, unlike the UK where you go to security first and then you have the duty free shops where you can buy your drinks and stuff, you have the shops here first and then go to security. So the drinks that we brought from Subway, no have. We gotta knock them back now. Singapore have stuff down to a T. Now we're going in to the gate area and the looks like... Is, that's our flight there hopefully. Good thing is you have your own little section here now so only people that are flying are sitting here and it's sectioned out so once you're onto security that's it. Chilling. Just chilling and you go straight to boarding on the flight and this is the Korea's 13th flight and 5th country we are so excited. I'm saying that for memories when we look back at this one day. So we're just heading through immigration now and these are still not come through. Let's just hope that it's not a wasted journey. Oh my god, I'm actually a bit scared. Like, imagine if you say it's like this, that flight we just paid for nothing and then we've got to go back. So this is visa application for individuals. So let's see if uh, they can have a look at our reference number and see what's going on. So guys, the guy kept bumping us off telling us that we just go for a 15 day visa and just said like you don't have it we tried to explain that we've already paid for it like I think if you, if you didn't pay for it I probably would have just said like let's just go on in yeah yeah but I think he's having a look now so he's having a look on the system yeah, you can get a free 15 day visa on arrival but we don't want that we're going to be here for at least a month and I don't want to be doing any embassies or visa runs and all that kind of stuff while we're here so the guy's checking I can see him I'm not over sure there if he knows what he's doing, to be I think he does because I showed him when I showed him the the login and yeah. it's being processed he was like oh okay and that's right. what it looked like so I think like a light switch so guys update we can enter with a British passport only 15 days which screws up our plans to be honest with you our fun is now trying to email through because there was somebody in line that was saying 
before they boarded their flight into Vietnam from Singapore, they were still waiting for their status for visa because it, it was four days since they applied. Some people got it back within 24 hours, some people got it back within four days. He emailed them when it, before he was boarding and just as they landed, he's got the email confirmation through now. So it's a bit of a, a, bit of a hoo-ha right now because we are now sitting in immigration. I got told off by the way because it shouldn't be recording here. And I don't know how long we're going to wait and the queue is getting bigger and bigger and bigger as you can see behind me. The immigration queue and then over there is where we basically were. Not sure what we're going to do now. So guys, update. You can tell by the moods. You can tell by the tone and our voices. We didn't get denied entry but we were not given our 30 day visa. We paid for it. It said three days. We give three days. But well, these guys it. basically said it's got nothing to do with us, to do with the government. The person stamping there, they couldn't Didn't really, really care. help us. We kind of went back and forth quite a few times with various and different people. I guess the blessing in disguise is that with a British passport, you get a visa on arrival, you which do. is for 15 days. Very lucky, very lucky indeed. So I am absolutely gutted. 15 days is not enough for us here in Vietnam. Please, if you are making your way to Vietnam, please make sure that you chase up your e-visa if you're thinking about staying here for more than yeah, 15 yeah, yeah, days yeah, yeah. Yeah, make sure definitely. you chase it up the mistake that we made is we didn't chase it, we up, didn't really, chase yeah. it up and we should have really been on top of it because we had a flight so guys just another update we have just been trying to get money out of this atm not only have we arrived in vietnam no we money don't out. have any money either but we can get a grab from the airport to the that's hotel so that's what we're going to do okay so we tried BIDB cash machine point over there. Now we're gonna try City Bank ATM. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah, girl. The only country where you're a millionaire instantly. Six million here, guys. Six million. Islamabad like airport, isn't it? Islamabad airport. This is like Islamabad airport. <laughs> I just can't hear the horn just yet. I think I heard the horn. So this taxi journey from the airport to our hotel, it's about half an hour, cost 180 grand, mate. 180 grand. That's some people's mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're racking it up on a single car journey. We are, hey, Bambos. Oh Traffic galore, as soon as you come outside the airport, and the airport looks like it's in a right built up area, so that's always an indication that the city is mad. <laughs> So check-in was easy. So guys, we are staying at the Gemini Group Hotel. It's actually a very nice location. It's yeah. just off the main strip. And then like literally outside, there's some like funky t-shirt shops, funky trainer shops, there's some coffee shops and all that kind of stuff. So it looks like the location is good. I wonder if the room is good. Let's go check it out. As far as lift sizes come, this is pretty decent is size, so I would me. say. This is me. This is my friend. Hello. Hello. We're a, we're a full lift right now. Yeah, we are. I'm surprised the maximum load, oh no, maximum load is 450 kilos. This is show you how small the lift is. It is tiny. Tiny, mate. Oh my god. So guys, we are here at room 402 here. And we've got a lovely little mirror here. Yeah. And we've got a lovely little uh, fanny here. Hello. And we've got a lovely bed, which looks okay. Flat screen TV. It's actually not a bad size toilet, actually. It's very nice. Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? It's pretty nice. You can go up to the balcony. Got a little kitchen area. I wasn't expecting that. Hey, this is alright, isn't it? Yes, your apartment. So, guys, it's the next morning, and look who we have here. Look at Mota Pasha. <laughs> And we are literally in this lovely cafe that's right next door to our hotel. And I have to say, it's proper little vibes. I've just had a coffee and it was so strong, but I love it. It was really sweet as well. So, so, I've got my coffee here. I'm gonna give it a first taste test, guys. I've heard so much about it. I'm excited, actually. Oh, yeah. Is it good? That's good. It's good, isn't it? That's good, Vietnamese man. coffee, man. It's, it's so sweet, so rich, so creamy, just how yeah. I like it. Yeah, I knew it. As soon as I took the first sip of the coffee that I had, I was like, yeah, this is Nadia's coffee. She likes a proper sweet. This is a proper nice little cup of coffee. I'm gonna tuck in as well. Two hours later. Crazy is it? Look how crazy it is. Guys. Try crossing this road. First impression of Ho Chi Minh. It reminds us of 
a bit of Pakistan because of the loud noises, the horns, the busyness, the traffic. It's crazy for this. We're gonna wait for this expert local to guide us away because this is not for us. This is not for us right now. We're like trying to figure out how to cross. Yesterday I was just like following the locals. If they cross, I cross. So ready, 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 go. Ready, 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 ready. Is that how you do it, guys? And there's cars coming, but you just basically walk through and uh, here we have it. Woo! So this is our first proper exploring day here. In Ho Chi Minh City. It's currently what? 12 o'clock right now? 12 o'clock. So far, loving the vibes. It's uh, very different, fully different to Thailand. Yep. Quite a few people said to me, traveling from Thailand to Vietnam, it can be quite samey samey, but I, I think, think it's, it's completely different. different. Yeah, yeah. Quite, quite the people unique. are different. And also the language barrier. Obviously, people in Thailand can speak English. And here we've been to a few shops and we decided to do a bit of Thai language and stuff. So it's been very interesting. And we don't normally come out midday, to be honest. Breaking Make the rules an exception. Today. So let's go and uh, check Ho Chi Minh out. Smart and yeah. I don't know the street name to be fair, but I know this street when I looked up on Google There's load of halal restaurants and kind of a Muslim community around here So this is the place to be so we're just gonna check it out and see what the street is all about Look at that guys and there's halal food Osman And then next so, door to it you got halal food Well halal food is closed Okay, so it looks like we're gonna go here then Okay guys, look at that So we've got some Vietnamese beef soup there We've got some potato plain chicken, we've got some spicy chili chicken here with tomato sauce and we've got some fries, look at like that. So guys, we've just finished up at the halal place and oh my god, the food is absolutely delicious. Absolutely but, lovely. I know we say it all the time but it was Really banging, banging, banging yeah. food, and then uh, you know, just a little short stroll from the place that we're at. Well, is the famous market, it's called Ben Ta Market, and it's basically a massive indoor market with loads and loads of things that you can buy, <laughs> like little, <laughs> <laughs> little legends. Hey, that's reassuring, good, lovely. So, we're basically going inside the market and have a little oh, yeah. mooch about. It's not air conditioned, guys, so oh, it's, it's quite hot. warm. Guys, you can't yeah. come to a market. A market is not a market if it doesn't have fake goods. Here we have it. We've got some Louis Vuittons. Beauty, beauty, Not only is it a turtle, guys, it's one of my favourites, but it's also a tape measure as well. Hey, how's it going? Where are you from? From uh, UK, England. UK. Hello, UK. We are from Vietnam. Yay! <laughs> oh yeah, that smells oh, delicious. Nice. Oh wow, wow, wow. It smells good. It smells good. It smells good, actually. Literally, we are probably going to head out now because we've been through one row and I'm pretty sure it's all the same. You've got garments here as well. When it's rainy season, yeah. it chucks it down. We get one of those rainy ponchos, but we're here with all the locals, right underneath the shelter. As you can see, it is a rainy, rainy heaven right now. Yeah. And we are literally about a three minute walk from our hotel, but it was, it was pouring it down. It's almost stopped raining, and we're gonna run back to the hotel. We kind of thought, right, let's just brave it. There are puddles galore. Watch around here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, hello people! Well, we're back. The rain has stopped and we're back out again a few hours later. Yeah, we're back at the same place where we had lunch, but a few shops down because we noticed a... Banh mi. Halal banh mi. Here we are, halal banh mi. And if you're in Vietnam and you haven't had banh mi, are you in Vietnam? So it looks like it's got coriander in there. Got slices of beef inside, tomato, cucumbers, and some sauce. Oh, Smells like yes. donna, donna like donna muffins. Oh, nice. Donna muffins. Oh yeah. And here's our bread for our curry that's coming. 
bread is so soft. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm glad the coriander smells a little bit too much, but I'm going in. That is so good. Alright, everyone's going in. I'm going to go in for the beef side. Mm. Is that like the best bun meat I've had? Yeah. It's light, soft bread. It's not heavy, heavy, heavy baguette bread. No, it's not. Oh, I love it. Proper soft bread. I was actually really surprised because it, from the outside, the texture looks like it's going to be hard and I thought it's going to be one of those hard baguettes and I was like, oh no. But it's actually so fluffy and soft. We went for a little curry as well. Of course we did. Malay style chicken curry. Delicious. Look at that. Looks pretty decent, I would say. Looks pretty decent. And obviously you eat it with the banh mi. Tell you what, they are not stingy with the chicken here that's one big massive piece the that's Korea. another big massive piece and that's another piece that the Korea just smashed down that is a that is a lot of chicken it definitely is indeed like, and look at that guy in the background absolutely loving his chicken wow wow i can't believe what i'm eating right now that restaurant was vibes that restaurant's vibes cartel and the food is delicious but we're just walking about now that food is delicious it was 227 thousand which is like eight quid for all that food that we had it was delicious it was really really, really delicious. nice i could have had more because that could bread have. was so like light and thin and fluffy and it wasn't heavy yeah but that only means one thing if you're if you got room for more food you have room for dessert da, 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 da. yeah so we're gonna go and try some vietnamese coffee and some cake vibes upon vibes lovely delicious coffee this place smells like let's go and sit down and test this coffee out look at that hey <laughs> yeah that looks like pretty coffee right there doesn't it numbers yeah, it does i have to tell you one thing vietnamese coffee is very 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 strong but i like it i don't know if it's something that i should be having at like seven o'clock in the evening though these coffees are definitely the ones that you need when you wake up first thing in the morning for a proper boost so i'll probably have one tomorrow morning so guys so people we've made it back to the hotel room we have indeed we were so busy walking back to our hotel we didn't okay. really record anything but we hope you enjoyed our first impressions very long first impressions of vietnam we covered a lot of ground in one day here in Ho Chi Minh and we're off to the next place tomorrow but on that note guys it's a good night from us follow your visions and we'll see you on the next one ciao bella we'll see you on the next one Zakaria.